Another day, another vlog. Today I'm going to be filming myself working as a medical receptionist at a GP practice on a busy Monday. Alright, so I typically get to the clinic at around 8.15. I drop off my bag in the back office and the first thing I do is to grab the remote control to turn on the TV. Usually we play the news at the bottom along with some educational content at the top half of the screen. This is our waiting room here. It's not a 5 star hotel but it's nice and cosy. I go and say hi to my boss who is a GP or family doctor and she got here at around 8am. I then head to the kitchen, pour myself a nice warm cup of water before heading to my post. I begin by checking the drawer for any leftover work from my colleagues from the previous day. There is only some light paperwork and a few patient results to be emailed, so I'm confident that later on I can do some studying for my medical school finals. Next on the list is to send text reminders for patients with appointments today, especially for those who have vaccinations or some sort of injections booked with the nurse. In New Zealand, we have a shortage of GPs or family doctors, so we're always fully booked. Today, we have one doctor, one registered nurse, one nursing student, and of course me, the mighty medical student and receptionist working at the front desk. It's 8.30 now, so I put my mask on while waiting for the first patient to turn up. At the same time, I get a phone call from a patient who's asking for a repeat prescription for her asthma inhalers, so I put that through to the doctor. The first patient just arrived and he has some forms for me to scan. I check the forms and realise that he has filled in the wrong form, so I offer him the correct one. I give him some instructions and get back to doing paperwork and replying to emails. As a medical receptionist, you are the first point of contact for the patient. Having some customer service experience is therefore quite important, especially when it comes to the communication side of things. You also need to be good at multitasking. Our main duties include answering phone calls, doing paperwork, checking in and billing the patient, all at the same time. So it might seem like we're staring at the computer screen doing absolutely nothing, but we're actually constantly on the grind. Being a medical receptionist is also a good stepping stone for different job roles, and some go on to become healthcare assistants. It's around 11 o'clock now. The nursing student comes in and asks how I was doing. I tell her that I've been very busy preparing for my medical school finals, and I hope everything has been well at nursing school. After the quick chats, I get back to doing the leftover tasks from my colleague, before realising that her instructions were a little confusing, so I decide to send her a text message to clarify what I need to do. It's been quite a full-on morning, and as lunch break approaches, I have a super long phone call with the dentist from next door. Hey guys, I've just finished a long phone call with the dentist from next door. It's 1pm, it's lunchtime now, so I'm just gonna quickly jump to the store to the restaurant and go grab some lunch and I'll talk you through what I've done. Thanks. So the patient is a 70 year old man who has a hearing disability and he's about to undergo a dental procedure and I'm not sure what that procedure is specifically for but he will be under local anesthesia. So the dentist who practices next door, she just called us and asked for some medication history for the patient. To me as a medical student, Obviously, past history of reaction to certain medications are really important before any sort of procedure. But most importantly, the patient had a history of cardiovascular disease. And a common combination for local anesthesia would be administering a drug called lignocaine with adrenaline. And in this case, adrenaline would be the one to be careful of because it could exacerbate the patient's cardiovascular conditions. My God, it's cold, wet and rainy outside. I'd better get back in. I return to the front desk at around two o'clock. As you can see here, both the nursing student and the nurse came out to join me. From what I can hear, it seems like they're having some technical difficulties when ordering some vaccines. I have finished all the paperwork for the day, so now it just involves me booking appointments and replying to emails. It's 4.30 now and there isn't anything left to do. I rip out my iPad and start revising for my medical school exams. Today I'm revising some case studies on kidney failure. We just had two lectures on it last week, so I find the content quite straightforward. 
From now on, I get interrupted by phone calls and people coming in and out of the clinic, but that's pretty much it. It's 6pm now, so I close the clinic and begin my last task of the day, cashier balancing. Who doesn't love money, right? Luckily, it's the 21st century. Most payments are processed electronically, so I don't need to dig my hands in cash. Finally, I switch off the lights and leave from the back entrance. Okay, so that's a wrap. So now I'm just gonna head home and have some dinner. I walked to my car and drive to the supermarket to get some groceries. I then came home for some hearty steamed fish and stir fry for dinner and collapsed on my bed. Subscribe for more medical vlogs if you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to stay fit, stay strong, stay positive and have an amazing day.